we find a cheaper alternative to the very popular Mini Z with the WL Toys K969 and head out to a drift track here in Hong Kong and meet a professional drifter of 18 years. He shows us how it's done and shares his thoughts on the K969. Coming up. What's up guys, I'm Joe. And I'm Ambit, we're the, the RC Kiwis. Kiwis. On this channel we do everything from bashing, crawling, speed runs, unbox reviews and much more. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. That way you won't miss out on any of our future RC adventures. And in today's adventure we're going to be taking this little RC from WL Toys. It is the K... K969 out for us, the very first run, and we're going to review it and give you our initial thoughts at the end of the video. We're going to be taking this to a drift track here in Hong Kong, which should be a lot of fun. Anyway, that's enough talking, let's jump inside the box. I'm scared of paper cups. I'm the worst box opener. In the box comes the instruction manual, which you should read, battery and USB charger, some different gearing for your gearing needs, the remote controller. What's that up? K969. And of course, your WL Toys K969. Well, guys, this car looks pretty cool, pretty awesome, and it does remind me a lot of the K989 and also our Mini Z's. Now, we will be comparing the more expensive Mini Z with the WR Toys K969, but that will be in a future video. So, coming back to the car, it's got a pretty cool body with some nice decals and four body clips. And once you remove those four body clips, go ahead and take that body, you can see what's under the hood and Hey, it's like deja vu. It looks exactly like that K989 we had before, the only difference being. The only difference being that these have hard solid plastic tyres whereas the other one had rubbery tyres. And what does that mean exactly? That means that this RC is made for drift. It actually looks like a full size, full scale RC just shrunken down. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's got four wheels, it's got suspension, it's got metal drive shafts throughout, it's got a foam front bumper, a metal chassis, it's got a motor, it's got a ESC receiver combo and it's got an itty bitty servo there but that's enough of that, if you want to know more details on this little RC and where you can get it from, we'll have that link in the description below. You know, look, that's enough talking, let's head downstairs, grab a taxi and head into Hong Kong where we're going to take this to a proper drift track. Here we are back at HRC here in Hong Kong and this place is pretty epic. Not only is it a drift track, but it is also a shop. Look at all these goodies, these are some upgrades for Mini Z's. There's Mini Z's everywhere and they're just... Still we look. And here's the track. I mean look how epic this track is. So today we have brought along our mini Z's, these are four-wheel drive. These will be in a future video. These are tiny little incy wincy RC, which we just did a video on. If you haven't seen that one, make sure you can check it out. There it is, the WL Toys K969. So this high-end Mini Z comes around about 400 US dollars compared to something like this, WL Toys, which is about 60 bucks. Now for us, we're just beginners, so we're not really gonna reap the benefits of this high-end stuff right now. We're gonna stick to this, the cheaper one. We're about to get out on the track have a bit of a play and see what we think of it. I'm pretty excited. I am too. See if we've improved since last time. I don't think so. Remote on first, plug the battery in, and turn the car on. All right, Amber is on the controls for the very first time of the WL Toys K969. I wish you the best of luck, Amber. <laughs> Now I will tell you guys, drifting is so much harder than it looks. It is so much harder. I remember when we came out here with our Mini Z's, it took a lot of laps to get even a couple of good drifts in. And this is Amber's first lap, so I can't imagine there will be much drifting going on. Oh, there's a little bit of a drift. We are gonna have a pro drive this around. It's gonna be Amber and me. Two newbies, so you can have a bit of a laugh, a bit of entertainment watching us fail. Then there will be a pro 
go to the controls of this little RC and give us his thoughts on what he thinks. Now this pro has been driving Mini Z's for 18 years. Three years on this track, 18 years total experience. We have had a total of 18 minutes <laughs> drifting. So we're gonna, I mean, this guy will really show us how it's done. I'm sure of it. For now, sit back and laugh at us failing at trying to drift. I'm guessing it's very similar to the K989. It feels very heavy, although I didn't find the K989 heavy. I just found it quite hard that on the controls. Hard. That was Hong Kong taxi driver right there. But with these drift tires, it might help make it look not so much like that. Can she get a drift? Come on. No. Give us at least one good drift. Oh, you dropped into the corner there. I think it's time for you to have a turn because I'm doing awful. <laughs> hey, you haven't done too bad. I mean, you haven't done too bad. It's been a bit of a ping pong, a ping pong, a ping pong around this track, and I'm sure it's still going to be ping pong when I get on the controls. But like I said, there is going to be a pro at the end. Get on these controls and show us how it's done. All right, Amber, give me those controls and see what I can do. All right, Amber, I was struggling there a little bit. You guys have seen. <laughs> now I'm going to have a little bit of a go, and I'm going to struggle just as much. <laughs> See if I can do it. Uh, <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, Emma! Oh, did you see that? That was the one and only time I'll get a good drift with this. I have no idea what I'm doing, but it worked before. Oh, oh, did you see that? Oh, you know. <laughs> Meanwhile, all the pros are laughing. They what, what do you mean, no way? These horrendous. Oh, here we go, here we go, come on. Oh, drifting is satisfying, I tell you that. If you can do a good drift, you know what I mean, Amber? Yes. Like when you do it, when you do a good drift, it is satisfying, right? It is when I can drift. When you can. And I mean I've seen videos on YouTube, of course, of pros doing this, and they make it look so easy. Yeah. So easy. Let's right, see if I can get a nice drift around here. No, I cannot. I'll try that again. Maybe if I could drift around this. How cool would that be? Yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 That was cool because that was full throttle, guys. That was cool. <laughs> oh no. We've got a pro on the controls now, and he's going to show us. This is the first time too on this car, so. But this guy's a pro with Mini Z. Let's see what his thoughts are. They'll be much better than ours. <laughs> Already. Already. <laughs> I wish I could say that was me or even Amber. Yeah. <laughs> That's his first lap ever with that car. Yeah. First ever lap. That is insane. The lights. We came to shine here. Watch it look daytime in the night. We bring the vibes here. We full of life, you keep the change, keep the change. They hate and say we went and change. I stay the same. You must be blinded by the lights. You must be blinded by the lights. Light. There you have it guys, you saw the pro on that car. He gave us some tips and advice. What can be done to this to make it a lot better? We'll share those with you in a minute. Amber, it's about time we head home. Man, that was so much fun out there today at HRC. Link to that place will be in the description. So if you're in Hong Kong, 
Make sure you go check it out. I'll tell you what, drifting is loads of fun, and I know we're both very, very good at it. And if you're having a drifting competition, who would you want on your team? Would you want Amber? Or would you want me? Or would you want that pro of 18 years? Man, that was something watching him. I, I felt like I was in the Tokyo Drift movie. I just, it was just so nice just to watch someone that knew what they were doing driving this little car around a check. And you saw his first lap, his first ever lap with this car. It was just like, He's like been it driving nothing. it for this car for, <laughs> for years. It was unbelievable. So before we tell you what he suggested about this car, we'll give you guys our initial thoughts from a beginner, a very newbie perspective. I'll start off with you, Amber. What were your thoughts on the K9 6 line? I think it's an awesome wee car, although I suck at drifting. <laughs> uh, I don't think it would matter what car I drive. Mini, Mini Z, this little guy, the most expensive one in the world, I still wouldn't be very good. <laughs> but I think this car is really good for beginners. Uh, like a lot of the WL Toys cars are, you're not spending a lot of money, still good quality and heaps of fun. How about you, Joe? What do you think of the K969? Well, you know, I said it in that before you buy a WL Toys video, make sure you watch it if you haven't. <laughs> and I'm gonna say it again. This one right here is certainly one of my favorite WR Toys cars and it is very capable as we saw. I mean, if, if the professional wasn't there, we wouldn't really know how capable it was. Yeah. But watching him drive it, you know it is a very <laughs> capable car. Maybe not in our hands right now, but you know what? I had so much fun out there drifting around, even though we weren't the best at drifting, it's still a bunch of fun. And when I compare it to some of the higher end stuff that costs double, triple, quadruple the price, for us beginners, we don't, we don't really notice a difference, you know, we're just learning, we're still very new to the drifting of these little cars, so we didn't re reap the benefits of that expensive stuff, I'm sure the pros out there would see a big difference. And speaking of pros, let's talk about what that pro out there had to say about this wee car. Starting off with his first point, he said the car needs a bit more toe out. Now, unfortunately, out of the box, you can't adjust the toe of this car, but there are upgrades that will allow you to adjust the toe, so if you get those upgrades, he recommended toe out. The second recommendation was a smoother tyres to help it drift a little bit easier. Softer rear suspension was his third point there. And finally, the, he said the motor gets a little bit hot. So have a 10-15 minute break between batteries. Finally, when I told the pro how much this car was, he was very surprised at how cheap it was and he said it is worth that price and very good for kids or beginners like us. Now there is that K989, we have made a video on that. So if you wanna go check that out, we took it out to a race track in Hong Kong, a different track to what you saw in today's video. And we reviewed it and had a bunch of fun with that car. Personally, I prefer this one, but if you're thinking about buying this one or the other one, go check that video out. It will be in the YouTube card and linked in the description below. This car as well, we can buy it, will also be linked in the description down below. And as you guys can probably see, we've got a wee Mini Z collection coming along here. Uh, we've done a video on these two racing ones and there's a video on these two drifting ones coming soon so if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you enjoyed today's video and if you enjoyed that guy drifting make sure you go ahead and you smash that like button and if you didn't give it a like anyway make sure you're staying safe out there on your RC adventures and remember guys we're the RC Kiwis and we'll see you guys next time peace out